Sebastian Mello Martinez, MMA Net, here with UFC veteran Martin, the hitman campman, uh, head of UFC, or head of Danish MMA Night 1. So, Martin, yeah, number one. I'm not the head of it, though. Oh, ahead. No, ahead of, yeah. <laughs> Close enough, though. Uh, so, if you look back at sort of Scandinavian MMA, uh, you really are, you know, one of the legends, one of the pioneers who built up a Nordic name in the UFC. Thank you. Uh, you know, one of the first Nordic fighters to get big fights to, you know, co-main events and main events. And you've had a, one hell of a career. Uh, looking back, you know, when, now that you are a couple of years removed from it and got, gone into retirement, how do you look back in your career in the UFC? Yeah, I, I had, you know, I had a, a lot of good fights and, uh, you know, it was a pleasure for me to, to make a living doing my hobby, you know, because fighting for me starting out as a, as a hobby, so being able to make a living off what you love to do is, uh, you know, as a passion, that's something that I love to do. Of course, uh, there's, I also had goals that I didn't achieve, you know, I had goals that I achieved and I still had goals also that I, that I didn't, uh, didn't make, but uh, that's uh, part of life, you know, you don't get to have everything, but uh, I still, uh, still have, uh, you know, Good experience with it. So, if you could now, modern, mature Martin Campman, travel back in time and tell young UC fighter Martin Campman just one change, one of those opportunities that you didn't get, or one thing that you didn't get to achieve, what would you, in that case, want to change? Oh, there's a lot of things. You know, you learn learn the hard way. You know, I think, uh, you know, smart training smarter. You know, training smarter is definitely one of them. You know, instead of. Uh, fighting too much in the gym, you know, and mm -hmm. too many gym wars, it takes your toll on your body, you know. So that's one thing, you know, because I stopped early. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still fairly young, you know. I think, uh, you know, there's fighters still fighting, but I think, uh, you know, training smart and uh, makes you, uh, preserve you for, uh, makes some longevity of your career, you know. But I, I stopped early, too many injuries, and and um, I think uh, sparring hard and going hard all the time is, is uh, definitely one reason for that. So I think Training smart is number one. And you've had a lot of very exciting performances in the octagon. If you look back, what do you feel is your favorite, your best performance? Um, I don't know. I think uh, when I fought uh, when I fought Paulo Thiago, it's not a, not a fight that I'm really known for, but that fight, uh, you know, I almost pulled out that week of the fight because I was so sick. I was throwing up. I was, you know, just puking. I was so sick and. Uh, and I almost pulled out of the fight. I was talking with Joe Silva, and, and uh, but I, you know, I made weight, no problem, because I didn't eat anything, and uh, and I started feeling better, better the day of the weigh-ins, and then uh, the day of the fight, I I, I said, oh, fuck it, I'll just take the fight, and whatever happens. And I think that kind of put the pressure off, took the pressure off myself because I didn't have, you know, and I, I just felt sharp. That's the fight where I felt like mentally uh, on and sharpest for. So, you know, wish I could take that into other fights where you come in where there's a lot more pressure and you. Have to keep your head cool, but uh, that fight I felt really, really uh, focused for. And so now that you, you know, you've already made your mark and you've laid the groundwork, you see these now up-and-coming Scandinavian Nordic fighters uh, making their way in the UFC. Biggest star right now, of course, Alexander Gustafsson. Uh, you know, I'm sure you got your eye on all the on all the Nordic talent in the UFC. How do you feel about Gustafsson and where he is at in his career right now? Oh, Gustafsson, he's the man. You know, I I, I really enjoy watching him fight. You know, ever since he made it into the UFC. Uh, I think uh, yeah, he's a pleasure to watch. I put a lot of money on him when he fought Shogun. So that, <laughs> so that was a good bet. You know, I, I think he's a great fighter. I think uh, he's absolute top, and I enjoy watching him fight. And also, also a lot of, you know, now the Scandinavian MMA scene compared to when I was, uh, you know, moved to the U.S. One of the reasons I moved to the U.S. was to have more, uh, you know, training, better training partners, and and stuff like that. And but it definitely it's it's been growing a lot since now I moved back to Denmark I live in Denmark now and and uh, the level in here is is uh, is a lot better of course there's still uh, a way to go compared to uh, the US but we still have a lot of really good guys coming up and uh, young talent and uh, being able to help the young talent talent gets better and it's, it's of course a pleasure and also being able to help uh, Mark who's an absolute beast you know he's a stud he uh, he learns so quick, you know, and uh, being able to work with him is an absolute pleasure too. I think he can make it really, really far as well. well obviously, he's kind of a star of this event coming up here, and you know, three you know, uh, perhaps not every Swedish MMA fan knows, but he's got a, a very, very experienced uh, career in the Olympics. Yeah, he's got a far away from the UFC. Do you think that he is? If he 
you know, he's got a big fight coming up tomorrow, of course. But uh, yeah. provided things go as planned, where do you think? Well, I think he can go in the UFC right now and, and beat up some of those guys. Uh, you know, he's Olympic silver medalist and uh, in Greco, and and we're working a lot of, of course, uh, focusing a lot of. of Making those uh, strength uh, into uh, taking those into the MMA cage, you know, and 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 also everything that we does is with the focus of bringing the fight over to the points where he's really strong and some of the stuff, you know, um, he's he's really adapting so quick and he's uh, you know he's heavy handed too, you know, he's he's uh, he's got heavy hands, so um, it's it's an absolute pleasure to work with him and I, I think he can really make it far.